Hamilton's Rotary Club hosted a primary debate this afternoon between Republican candidates for Mesa County Sheriff. Incumbent Sheriff Todd Rowell and Chief Marshal Robert Daly of DeBeck are among those battling for primary votes. Rob Hagan has today's story. The Redlands Rotary Club gave two men a soapbox to pitch their promises to protect and serve Mesa County as sheriff at a debate hosted by the club at the venue at Fisher's Market in Grand Junction. I think one of the problems that we have right now is, is we are putting the needs of the, the criminals over the rights of the victims. We're struggling a little bit to keep our staffing up in our detention facility, so we, we got to find a way to attract people to a job that is a very tough job. Incumbent Todd Rowles, a former Marine who graduated top of his class at the academy and is served the sheriff's office for more than two decades. He was appointed sheriff last August, and one of his priorities is continuing the fight against fentanyl. But we have got to get the awareness out there. We can't arrest their way out of this. People have to know if they're taking a pill. Um, it may look like a oxycotton or oxycodone. It could likely be fentanyl. Robert Daly's a fourth generation Mesa County resident and former reserve deputy and fire chief now serving as chief marshal for Debeck. He wants to stop the surging crime rate of Mesa County he says is way up compared to like sized counties. We need to get back to being tough on crime. We need to get back to making the appropriate charges, following the laws ourselves and making sure that there actually is a consequence to the actions of those that victimize our citizens. Each candidate at the debate fighting for your vote to be Mesa County Sheriff has two minutes to answer a series of questions from a panel of citizen moderators. The only problem is they failed to ask one of the toughest questions currently facing the nation. What is your stance on gun control in the wake of recent mass shootings? I, I'm not a fan of gun control. I think gun control only targets the people that are law-abiding citizens. As far as gun control, I, I believe in the Second Amendment, and I think that if we want to make changes there, it needs to be made at a constitutional level. Taking the tools away from people, it, that part does not make sense to me. All that does is limit people that are law-abiding citizens to exercise their Second Amendment right. There are literally millions of, of weapons out there from law-abiding citizens that don't commit any crimes, and I'm absolutely opposed to trying to penalize or punish those that are following the law because of the actions of a few people that are not. First on the Western Slope, Rob Hagan, KREX 5 News. The primary